This video here is um, going to show how I actually pack up a snake and ship it. Um, Jason Greathouse of uh, Statesville, North Carolina actually um, recommended that I make a YouTube video of uh, the packing process uh, when I ship his double head sun glow female off to him and I said you know that's a really good idea uh, so people can see uh, how I pack my snakes. I've actually shipped probably, I mean, well over a hundred snakes over the last four breeding seasons. And uh, knock on wood, I haven't had uh, any problems yet. Um, this is basically what I use. I use one of these perishable uh, cardboard boxes here that we'll put together with uh, some insulated uh, styrofoam that goes inside the box. Of course, I've got my trusty uh, snake bag. Um, I'm not going to use a heat pack because it's summertime, but this is the heat pack that I do use when I use one. Um, these are really good. They are 40 hours, 40 hour heat packs, and they actually heat on a, uh, on a real steady basis. They don't get super, super hot, um, which is good. A lot of people I know have used hand warmers. I don't think, I don't like those. They're too warm and uh, they're really not designed uh, for this. These are made um, with the uh, uh, you know shipping of a, of a reptile in mind. So I just wanted to show you this is what I do use. And what I do is I actually tape them on the bottom of the cage. Uh, of the cage. I tape them on the bottom of the box uh, when I do use them. On the inside and the bottom. And then I'll put a few layers of newspaper over it just to kind of reduce the heat as well. And then the animal goes in the center of the box so it's not sitting right on the heat. But um, I just wanted to once again show you what I use. You can pick these up from Triple L Reptile, um, a lot of the other reptile supply places out there, and I think they're like a buck a piece. So we'll put that aside. Um, I'm also going to use some recycled newspaper as insulation and uh, like packing material. All right, so step number one, I'm going to try to do this with, uh, I probably should have had a tripod for this. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. Step number one is to put together your box. So, uh, this is going to be challenging doing this with one hand. Didn't think of this. Poor planning. Um, okay, so, I guess I'm going to, I can probably edit this to get rid of a lot of the boring parts here. So, what we're going to do real quick is, uh, I'm gonna get the uh, I'm gonna get the tape ready, so I'm gonna pause the camera throughout this. So if you see some breaks, I didn't really want to have any pauses though. I wanted to do it 100% live. So let's see if I can do this with uh, with one hand. So I'll put the camera underneath my neck. Let's try this. Maybe not. Oh, darn it. I thought this was going to be a really good video, too. <laughs> All right. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to tape the box down. Okay. So, um, these boxes you can pick up from um, a lot of different companies. You can get them from Superior. You can get them... Oh, there's a whole slew of different uh, different places you can buy them from. And this size works perfect for the little baby boas. Uh, they fit nice and, you know, they're nice and compact when they're inside the box. And there's not a lot of extra space, so why pay extra money for shipping if you don't need the space? All right, I'm going to give this one more tape job here, so forgive the camera sitting on my leg here. I have got to go ahead and get my dang uh, tripod going. That's the best way to do this kind of thing. Okay, so the bottom of the box, I do apologize for all this jostling around. The bottom of the box is taped nice, so now, that's the worst of it here. Now we've got our box. And um, what you do is you put your little inserts right in. 
nice and tight. And uh, we got little ins put the inserts in here. So um, this is really good. This insulates the box against cold and heat. Um, if it was really, really warm, um, I would most likely put a small cold pack in place of the heat pack. Um, however, the weather is not going to be too bad. This is going to North Carolina. And it will be there before 10.30 in the morning. Okay, so now we're looking at our box. Once again, if I was going to use a heat pack, I would wrap this up in newspaper and I would and I would actually secure it. I usually will use some tape and I'll tape it to the bottom there. And then I'll put another layer of newspaper over it and then I'll I'll use my bedding. Um, so that way the animal's not sitting right on the heat. Uh, you can also tape it to the uh, to the top as well, but it's not winter time so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I've shipped uh, several animals already this year and uh, knock on wood haven't had any problems so without trying to make a mess here what we're going to do is we are going to um, put some of this recycled newspaper this is what I use for my rodent colony but this works really well because it forms a nice little pad for the reptile to sit in and it's not very heavy so that should be enough for now. Now we take oops, Mr. Reptile here. This is Double Het Sun Glow Female Number Four, and she is a looker, isn't she? She's a stunner. Uh, we're gonna put her in the snake bag. This is a little bit bigger bag than I probably need to use but it's the only one I have. Um, you know, I have to admit, I've actually used uh, clean athletic socks in the past, and that works too. So we put the snake in the, uh, in the bag. The other thing I do, oops, I messed up. I forgot, before we put the snake in the bag, I usually will put some paper towels in there too, just in case the snake goes to the bathroom it's got something else besides the tub, I mean, besides the, um, the uh, snake bag to soak up the, uh, the mess. Will you get in there? I know you don't want to. I know you don't want to leave, but North Carolina is a nice place. And Jason will take good care of you. Here, get in there. I believe Jason's actually going to do a YouTube video of him receiving the, uh, the snake, too, which is kind of cool. All right, so, once again, we try this with one arm. We seal up the snake bag. If we can. Okay. So the snake bag. Ooh, the snake is trying to get out of the bag again. Get in there. Come on. <laughs> All right, the snake is in the bag. And what I do, in addition to putting the snake in the bag, is I'm going to tie off um, the bag. I'm going to tie off the bag.